Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do another review video um, and this review is going to be on the Zulu palette by Juvia's Place. Um, yeah, I've already tried this out so this is going to be a review more than a first impressions. Um, so if you want to see what I think then just keep on watching. Okay, so this palette has some amazing colours in. It's a little bit like the Morphe palette but bigger pans and slightly different colours but it's still it's an awesome palette um there's no transition shades which I don't really mind um because I like to have colour everywhere as you would have seen in most of my other videos so this is what it looks like so it comes with nine colours in quite good sized pans so if you look it's quite a good sized palette so it has three shimmers so these three here, not these three, these three here are shimmer colours, shimmer shades. And yeah, I'm going to show you how I created the look, the eye look that I did in Wednesday's video for my Halloween video. Um, and I'm going to be talking through how I like this, um, the fallout, what I think could be a little bit better um, and everything like that. So I'm just going to sit down and talk you through it. So I'm going to start off by swatching these um, and talking through the colours. So I'm just going to go through and swatch. Okay, so these are all the colours swatched. See how they're really vibrant? These two shimmer shades are incredible. So they're very creamy. Um, from what I've used at, on my first um, attempt on Wednesday was they didn't have a lot of fallout. Um, so they sit really nicely on the skin um, and the pigment is lovely. Okay, so I've zoomed you in. This highlighter makes me look like I've got massive bags. Um, <laughs> so I'm just going to take the brush that I did my concealer with and I'm just going to kind of prime my lid this was going to be a little bit this is going to be um this is going to be slightly different to what i did on wednesday so i'm just going to focus on this eye and i'll do the other eye off camera it's going to be slightly different than what i did on wednesday in the the color that i put on this part of my eye it's going to be slightly different just to use the whole palette so i'm then going to take a compact a flat brush I'm going to dip into this shade down here and I'm just going to compact that on to the outer part of my lid doing this you get the biggest color payoff um, whereas if you used a fluffy brush you wouldn't get as much pigment onto the eyelid so quickly. Okay, so it looks kind of a weird shape. <laughs> I'm then going to go in with a fluffy brush into that same purple and just kind of buff out this bit here. Like so, so it's just blown out. I am then going to take this orange shade at the top here with that same fluffy brush and that is just going to go over this part of my eye and see how it just automatically looks kind of shocking to be honest. <laughs> um, and from that compacting on I've got this tiny the tiniest bit of fallout you could ever imagine like it's a colorful palette and you want loads of pigment so you're gonna get that but I've seen palettes have more fallout so I'm very impressed and they just blend seamlessly like that just looks I think <laughs> it looks so good so I'm gonna go back into that purple and I'm going to go 
back onto that lid and just darken up that outer. And then back in with that orange. So it's all going back and forth and building up the colour to how you want it. So I'm going to go back in with that orange. See, it's kind of gone a bit ready, but I think it looks really nice. And if you went in with red, it would just go really murky. That's why I've gone in with the orangey shade. And then to just blend out that a little bit more, I'm going to go in with the yellow shade next to the orange at the top here. And just kind of buff that over the edge focusing more on the inner edge and then I'm gonna go back in so it's all going back and forth back and forth back in with my flat top purple brush and just reinforcing that purple color onto this part of the eye. See, I think that looks wicked. <laughs> and then buffing more purple. And then you work out anywhere that needs a bit more blending. So I'm gonna blend some more orange and then some more yellow on this outer bit. And see how that just, it, I just think this palette looks awesome. So for the bottom eyelid, the bottom lash line, I'm going to go in with another, another flat brush um, that we put on the purple with. And I'm going to go in with the red shade at the bottom. It just, it's so buttery. This is such a, like a smooth palette. And then we're going to go in with my trusty pencil brush. I've got powder in my eye. There we go. And then back in with our blending brush with that orange shade from the top again. Just to kind of blend it all together. And then back in with that yellow shade. And then I'm going to take a brush just to brush off any excess and then using a smaller pencil brush we're going to take some bit a bit of that purple and go right along the lash line okay so that is that was how didn't take me long at all because the colours just blend seamlessly. Um, obviously you could add more purple, which I'm probably going to do. Just add a bit more purple into this part of my eye. And you can just play around, but this palette just makes it so easy. And the colours blend, as I've said about a million times, blend amazingly. Um, there is one thing that I'd say is they are very powdery, obviously, because it's a powder. <laughs> but when you put your brush in, you are going to pick up a lot of powder. Uh, so you will, as I have done, every time I've picked up a bit of powder, I've had to tap off the excess. And there is quite a bit. So if you look at my palette, it's kind of dusty. If you can see that. Especially this red shade down here. It's very crumbly. But other than that, I really like this palette. Um, we're going to do something different, which I haven't actually done before. 
I'm not too sure. I think I'm gonna go. I'm gonna take the blue shimmery shade, which is this one here. And I'm gonna use my finger. And I'm very scared about this because I haven't. I'm just gonna press that. <gasps> wow. And then I'm going to take another flat top brush. I do like using my flat top brushes. That is highly pigmented. It does say on the back that you should use it with um, a setting spray. Maybe I should try it. I can't. I'm going to see what it's like with the setting spray. So I'm just going to use my Urban Decay setting spray. And I'm just going to spritz the brush. Oh, wow. See how that's giving it another dimension and just drawing your eye in. Oh, that is beautiful. I do like that shade. I'm just going to buff this bit out because I feel like I've... That's better. Wow. One more go around with the yellow. Just to... I would say forever blend in this. beautiful that looks so now I'm going to put on quite a few coats of mascara so I'm going to finish the other eye off camera and I'll be back to show you the finished look and give you my final thoughts Okay guys, that is the end of my video. I have finished off my other eye. I think this looks amazing. That blue shade is phenomenal. Um, so I would give this a massive thumbs up and that is definitely a good Jess review. Um, so I would say this is well worth the money. This was £20. I got this from Beauty Bay um, and it arrived two days and I didn't pay for extra postage which was really good and this is not a review on Beauty Bay this is a review on this palette obviously um but yeah the colour payoff is amazing as you can see it's a bright colour for autumn already and I love it so yes definitely a amazing palette okay guys so that is the end of my video if you did enjoy this video today and enjoyed my review then don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my content i do try to upload at least once a week if i can um and hopefully i'll be doing more reviews on palettes like this so yeah i hope you have a amazing week guys and i'll see you in my next video bye